I'm Wai Cash with Scoop News Group, and we're here at FedScoop's IT Mod Talks with Bob Friday, CTO and co-founder of Miss Systems, a Juniper company now, and Sampak Garg, Associate General Counsel and Senior Director at Juniper Networks. Uh, Bob and Sampak, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having us. Thank you, it's a pleasure to be here. So Sampak, let me start with you. You know, we're a little more than a year now into the Biden administration. And in that time, I'd be interested to get your perspective on where you've seen some of the greatest progress in IT modernization. Well, thank you for the question. Well, I think from my perspective uh, at the policy level, we've seen a great deal of interest in the administration and, and moving ahead on modernization in terms of the cybersecurity executive order from a year ago that really pushed for more AI-based tools for zero trust architecture deployments. Um, we saw a measured approach from the White House in the last month or so on a zero trust strategy, for example. Um, a lot of input was taken from industry and other stakeholders. So we think they're really, um, on the policy side at least, really um, trying to, to move the ball forward in that regard. And then maybe just to follow up on that, how has IT modernization also helped federal agencies um, get a better handle on securing their most valuable systems and assets? Well, Bob can certainly talk more about the, the real, um, the details of that, but from what I've seen, um, they really are getting a sense that AI can help, and modernization AI can help with um, security, the security aspects of, of network modernization. Um, one example we've had with one particular agency where they, we realized that the security instructions that agency had for its network operators were really behind the times, didn't um, take into account the new AI-based tools that are coming out. Uh, we've been in talks with the agency about modernizing that guidance so that vendors like Juniper and others can provide um, more modernized innovative technologies to the agencies while keeping the security interests in mind. Well, Bob, let me bring you in here. Um, you know, the White House issued uh, both a cybersecurity executive order, but also more recently an executive order on customer experience. So I'd be interested in getting your take on how federal agencies are, you know, delivering steps um, to give better digital services more securely to the American public. Yeah, you know, if you look, you know, the White House has basically asked what 35 critical federal services to kind of like improve their customer experience. And I think from our own personal experience, you know, whether it's with your Amazon bank or even your grocery store, you know, we all see how technology is advancing in the service community. You know, even personally for myself, right? When it comes to e-commerce and payments, you know, I'm now able to what pay my DMV bill, my property tax, even my bridge tolls, all that can be done in 10 minutes. And so I think, you know, when you look at the focus on customer experience, it's really about, you know, the federal government starting to adopt these technologies we see in the commercial space, you know, and it ranges to collaboration and Zoom, you know, especially in this post-COVID era where we're starting to see the government make it easier for our veterans to interact with their doctors with Zoom technology. So I think, you know, when you look at the federal government services, uh, I think that executive order, they're going to basically be adopting the same technologies we're seeing in our commercial personal space already, even faster now. Mm -hmm. And then lastly, what across the federal IT landscape stands out to you most as having the biggest potential or need for modernization in the coming year or two? Yeah, you know, I think, you know, working with the federal government, it's always, a, you know, they always have a, they want to adopt what's going on in the commercial space. But they always have to always have to balance national security with the adoption of these commercial technologies, and probably the latest two that are really going to have the most potential on affecting uh, government IT is going to be around cloud technologies and AI. You know, and the cloud technologies are basically just a better way of maintaining, developing, and operating software, and it's really going to be a key to security because ultimately, when you adopt these cloud technologies you can respond to security threats on the order of hours and days as opposed to weeks and months, right? And so I think that's one of the biggest potentials we're going to see the government. You know, I think historically, you know, FIPS has always been that security hurdle to adopting commercial technology in the federal space. Uh, we're starting to see the federal government start to adopt FedRAMP, right? You know, how are they going to base securely start to embrace these cloud technologies and get the benefit of it? And then on top of that is AI, you know, because AI is what's really going to allow the government to really start to bridge across these different data silos and really start to help our, you know, help the citizens get access to different across different sales. So I think cloud and AI are gonna be the two technologies we're gonna see having the most potential inside the federal government space right now to really change the customer experience 
and tie back into that executive order, right? Absolutely. Well, uh, Bob Friday and Sam Packer, thank you so much for taking a few minutes to join us here and sharing some of your insights on IT modernization in the federal government. Yep. Thank you. It was a pleasure to be here. Yep. Thank you for having us. Mm -hmm. And look for more of our coverage on IT modernization on fedscoop.com. Thanks for tuning in.